My relationship with the Malayan Law Journal started when I was a first year law student at the University of New South Wales. The MLJ was my source of information and knowledge as to the legal developments in Malaysia and Singapore. When I returned to Malaysia to practice as an advocate and solicitor, the MLJ became far more important to me. It was a necessity. It became the tools of trade which I needed to rely on on a daily basis for my practice. I found that the Malau's Judges became my encyclopedia to give me a snapshot of the legal cases in a particular area of the law and the indexes was my roadmap to navigate the treasure trove of cases to find the right case to the problem I have in my briefs. I was a head noter for MLJ in 1993 and it was then that I appreciated the amount of effort and energy which goes into head noting in summarising the facts and identifying the obiter and ratio of each case. The words of the Acting Chief Justice of the Federated Malay States, W. H. Thorne, in writing his congratulatory message to Bashir A. Malal in publishing the MLJ in 1932 remains apt today. The Acting CJ said that the publication of accurate reports of cases in the courts is of great value to any country not only as a matter of history but also as an aid to the most important part of good government, namely the administration of justice. I thank the Malayan Law Journal, in particular its people, for its role in helping lawyers, judges and academics in playing our respective roles in upholding the rule of law in the administration of justice. I wish you, Malayan Law Journal, continued success for many more 85 years to come.